Welcome back, everybody, to the Game of Thrones world. You're probably thinking, Mr. Streamer, why the hell is there a year between this episode and yesterday's episode? That's because the game decided to shit itself. Do you remember maybe six or seven episodes ago where we randomly were abdicated to a random kid in our family? Um, well, it was our direct heir, but for, for seemingly no reason. There wasn't a war, there wasn't a plot or anything like that. That happened again, except this time it was our sister's son. So High Priest Axe were there, randomly got all the titles. In fact, if you look at the history here, it just says he inherited it, despite the fact that we're clearly still alive, which is not quite how that works. So after after jumping through a load of hurdles and fixing a load of things, I have put things hopefully back to the way they should be. I did have to kill a kid in the process, but hey, it's CK2. Welcome to the game. Now, based on any feedback from yesterday and based on some other things that I've done as well, I've implemented some new things into the game, which will hopefully be uh, kind of fun and, and kind of a bit more old godsy and make us feel like we are a little bit more involved with the religious side of things. So I've added some kind of Game of Thrones th thematic based events to the Worship the Ancestors decision that we got access to uh, yesterday with, with the Animism Doctrine coming into play. I've also done a lot to try and keep the game as stable as possible. So I've added like little maintenance events here and there to, uh, to tidy up characters. I've done a bit more map management too. So removing all the excess characters. I've, I've done a lot in the background here between episodes just to try and tidy things up the best I can. It's still pretty unstable, but I think we can at least finish the campaign, which is the good thing. Now my plan was for this episode, as I explained in the last take of this video before I decided I did fuck it, let's start it all again, was that we have access to a fairly unique Caspella in the form of Force Vassalization. Now, the downside to Force Vassalization is, of course, it costs a thousand prestige per swing. So we have to kind of pick our targets very wisely, going for big jukes, that type of thing would be the most sensible way to do it. However, we are also part of the Berserkers. Oh, by the way, we hit the top rank, which, of course, is, is not going to be in this video now because that was in the last video where we got randomly abdicated. So um, we, we fought in a duel. We got to the top. It's not really much of a surprise because we got 319 personal combat. Anyway, this society gives us the plus five monthly prestige. Along with that, we can also go to the vantage board, fight people for 100 prestige or swing, do minor wars for 100 prestige swing, and we're called into wars quite frequently as well. If you're an ally in a war, you earn more prestige than a primary participant. So there's a lot of... Little things we can do here and there to increase our prestige massively. Now, bear in mind our character's 23. He's already got 4,000 prestige. That's essentially four big ducal subjugations we can go for here. Now, another thing, and this is a strategy I floated again last episode before we were randomly abdicated to a tiny child for no reason, was that we've got a, a kind of a powerful economy here. We've got 20 gold per month. I thought, why not, given that there are no there are no mercenaries, there are, new, uh, there, there are no retinues, sorry, in the Game of Thrones mod besides Unsullied, which is obviously irrelevant because that's all crushed by Valyria right now. I figured, why not just hire a load of mercenaries as a permanent standing army, sort of like our own retinue here. Sure, it's going to half our monthly income, but we're already getting a load of gold anyway from things. This also will allow us to very quickly... Uh, now, I am still concerned about the, uh, about the Andals, potentially going to war for, with, with us, uh, or us going to war with the Andals, and then them calling in every other friggin' Andal. So I figured what we need to do is a lot of very fast smash and grab type of wars. So we've got 10,900 men, or 10,891 men, outside of Golden Tooth right now. If we move them so they are just a day away... Oh, nice! Hey, Mil 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 Mylena is pregnant. Excellent, thank you. Um, we actually don't have a kid yet. Holy shit, after all this time... Now, another reason I wanted to be super aggressive, too, is we've got 60,000 men, not including the 10,000 hired, obviously, or including the 10,000 hired. We've got a guy with 28 marshal and 319 personal combat. Having this guy on the vanguard probably won't be so bad. Granted, we've done it before and they've died. We've done it, actually, multiple times before and they've died, but this guy is by far our best military and combat-based character we've ever had. That plus all of our bonuses as well, like our Valyrian Steel Armor, our boat, whatever else, which we apparently don't have equipped. What are you talking about? This is our best chance for a really, really super aggressive character. And we also proved, I think it was uh, not the last episode, but the episode before, that if all the Andals are called into a war against us, we can defeat them, but we do have to commit all of our resources, all of our time and effort. So... In those scenarios, that, that I'd be fine to do as long as we were taking something significant. So if we're taking Mandevale, Old Town, Dawn, for example, I wouldn't mind doing that so much. But for these single duchies, this is very much war of attrition. We have to tidy up these wards very, very, very quickly. Because if all the other Andals get involved, then it's just going to take us hours and hours. And all we've got to show for it is the glorious province of Pendrick Hills. So I'm going to be very careful how we do this. So let's wait till we are... So they're going to arrive on the 4th of First Moon. So make sure we've got our best commanders. We are also now allowed to uh, have unforbidden us from command as well. So uh, let's, let's let it take a couple more days. And again, with this stack, we can just turn up, siege it down. They'll reinforce enemy territory because, of course, they're mercenaries. Um, what is it? The, the fourth, right? Okay, 30th, 31st, first. Then we get the lag, so be careful. I mean, it's, it's better than it was, but it's still not fantastic, I will admit. Um, oh, there's a tournament. I should ready my horse. Oh, we're fighting in a tournament. Okay, cool. And then we want to pause it today. 
Okay, good. Then we declare the war. So we'll go for Force Vassalization. Now, the reason I want to go for this guy first, this will give us access to Castamere. That's a Dutch level title that comes with five different provinces. I'm going to pick on those. So next one... Oh, man, I'd love to go for that, but apparently there's a kingdom there, so we can't Force Vassalize kingdoms. Any big-sized duchies that have a lot of subholdings. So, Rainwood wouldn't be a Cape, Cape Wrath is a prime example of that. We've got one, two, three, four, five different provinces there. Um, Stoneway, pretty good as well. It's just a case of picking our targets kind of wisely, because again, it is a thousand prestige per war that we're going for here. Okay, let's do it. So, I'm going to declare war, force vassalization. We'll land there almost immediately. Then, in theory, he's not going to have time. Even if he calls in every handle in the world, those guys are not going to have a chance to stop us now, unless he's got a garrison of. 8,000. Okay, fair enough in that case. But at this stage, there's nothing to say that, hey, we can't uh, we can't just raise our troops. We can't just raise our troops and send them in to help out with the sieging. You expertly struck Sir Thorin with your lance right in the middle of his breastplate, causing your lance to shatter into a thousand pieces sent flying from his saddle. The crowd gives a great cheer at your victory. A fine hit, I must say. Well done. We've defeated Sir Thorin of Galenka Valleys in a fine joust. Some Valeria sounding man there. Um, or apparently not. You're telling me of Gal oh, they must descend from Valeria distantly. None can beat me. I wonder if we'll get a... Uh oh, that gives us more prestige as well, isn't it? If we uh, if we win tournaments like that. That'd be kind of nice. He fought well, he fought well. How many tournament wins have we got right now? We've got one regional tournament. What about like... um? We've actually got nothing else. So all of those melees that we fought didn't count either. So just one regional tournament. That sucks a little bit. Okay, fine. Okay. Now they're calling in all of their allies. So the question is, how long did that take them then? Uh, it just says the start here. It doesn't actually say when we declare war. Very useless. All right. Um, now is when things get slightly more hit and miss. Oh, God. Yeah, they have called in literally everyone on the face of the fucking planet. Fantastic. Let's get over here as soon as possible. The point is, if we control 100% the war goal, it doesn't matter how many men they send at us, we win. So it's a little annoying that we've got to raise all these troops and obviously probably put ourselves into debt doing it. But hey, I mean, this might be the only way to do it. I could have let their troops raise, I guess, and then smashed it with the mercenaries. They'd have had less of a garrison. We might have been able to sort it down. I'll do that in the future. Might be a much better plan. Oh my god, oh, it'll crash again and we'll go right the way back to the first of uh, first moon. Okay, um, I can see the monthly auto saves are going to have to be a permanent feature of this fucking playthrough now, given that if I so much, I think that that time I tried to denounce a bastard and then apparently that that d deserves me getting the game crashed. Ha 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 ha, how annoying. Okay, let's try this again. Are we, are we good? Are we ready to go? Maybe this time they'll raise some troops and we can crush them straight away. Um, let's ready my horse. Yeah, oh, they have. All right, nice, nice, nice. Okay, so this will give us at least some starting war score here. I don't know. It might be enough to scare off the other Andals. We'll, we'll see how it works. Fine hit, I must say. None can beat me. We should also... Um, well, we're going to chase down a Septon for a battlefield duel. Nice, okay. So Septon will has minus 12 personal combat versus 319. I feel like... I feel like this is bullying. I feel like we just bullied that man. It's... it's it <laughs> it demoralizes the enemy. What, seeing us curb stomp this old man? Yeah, no shit. Okay, we should also, before we before we carry on, because my god, please, let me do something in this episode. Bounty board. Hunt down as many people as possible. Get some money out of it. Get the jewel experience, whatever else. We might as well do this, because, I mean, these bounties, someone else might grab them, and obviously it's just free prestige, essentially. Um, but what happened there? I don't know. Um, go on a warrior pilgrimage. We can't... Oh, we should do that, but not while we're at war, ideally. Uh, that'll give us some more points. And then I'd love to worship the ancestors, but okay, we have to be at peace as well. Now, I, like I said, I've added some stuff to worship the ancestors, so I'm hoping this will work. Particularly as we're basically done with this society right now, unless you want to try and forge the, uh, the champion bloodline. There we go. That's a lot better. All right. Uh, let's get the, get the troops down over in this direction then. So re remove that. Set a rally point in Branston, and then send everybody in. Okay, this is literally what happened last time. Um, so if I say, last time I pressed denounce child, the game crashed. We're good. Are we Are we fine this time? I'm allowed to denounce these kids. Oh my god, this game. Holy shit. Alright, well, this this should be a lot easier war this time, given that we've already wiped out there. There you go. You can have just for free. Um, given that we've wiped out most of their troops, this should be a lot... Uh, I mean, we could potentially... Should we just pile on troops and try and assault it down? It's a little risky, I will admit. Let's go for that one. You guys stay there. We'll send some troops over to the other one as well. I mean, but at that stage, we're done. I mean, it's, it's not exactly gone the way I wanted it to. They can still apparently call in every fucking handle on the face of the planet, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass. But we do have some... I have some plans. Don't worry. Oh, boy. That's a lot of people. I mean, in between siege, you've got to do something fun, right? You can't just you can't just rely on these. Oh, we can kill our, our rebellious vassal. Holy shit. Skip the jewel engine. Nice work. Is there any repercussions for defeating our man in, in personal combat? Nothing. Absolutely. No, nobody cares. That's fine. That's good news. Right. Bounty board. Let's, let's keep going. Look, we've already built our way almost back up to 4,000 prestige again. So it's 100 prestige ago. This is so good. Let them all out, and now we're up to... Oh, no, I killed a member of my dynasty. 
Oh, it's minus 50 in opinion. You motherfucker. Well, I was I was blinded by my greed, but that's okay. It's fine. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Who cares? It's just a just a dynasty member. It's just a dynasty. I've got plenty more of those come from her. Huh? Can't believe that dynastic kinslayer is the same as a regular kinslayer. Like kill your twin is the same as apparently killing some random dude who I had no idea. Who was he anyway? Wait, we didn't even kill him though. Because you can't kill people in jewels in this. Oh, you know what? Fuck you. All right, whatever. Um, should we try? Should we try some assaults? That's risky, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Just cause look at these andals. They're all pouring in. They're all starting to siege my shit. Look at this. 14,000 men there. 12,000 men there. 2,000. 2,000. If we leave this much longer, they are just going to dogpile us. Unreal. I, I, I don't like this mechanic. I, I, we, need to, we need to deal with their Diplo range or something. I'll see if I can nerf it because this is just unreal. Done. History of Royanish Wars. Thank you very much. Number of value here. And that war is dealt with. The problem is now we've got a rebellious vassal under us and we've spent all of our resources on it. So that's not really worth as much as I'd like. Oh, Rosby is independent? Why? <gasps> Lucas Mud. He's ugly and sickly. Oh, God. Call him land and then just let him die. Don't even bother treating him. But someone's also conspiring to kill us. It's probably this game right now. On the plus side, now we have a better war goal in the form of Castamere. So Castamere is probably worth going to a big mega war like that for because they've got the, the six different provinces there. So that's quite nice. That's a big chunk of the Westlands. Then all we've got to do is destroy Tyret the Gross of House Lannister, sitting on his, I mean, extremely false empire there. Kick him out, and then we can potentially form the Westerlands for ourselves. So, I mean, how far off we're we forming Westeros at this stage, then? So, like, 350 or something like that? Or oh, 500, shit. Oh, man, we're, we're miles out. I feel like we've, we've regressed, if anything. Wait, did we lose Acorn's Ridge? Wait, what? Was that not always the Trident? And then Rosby's also, uh, uh, I mean, apparently got independence as well? I have no idea. Okay, um, I guess we'll go and sweep those guys back up. That's a du jour claim on... I don't think they can call people in if, if it's a du jour claim. Oh, they're back. Oh, it's a mega war. Right, right. So they just won. They just didn't want to fight in our war. Okay, fair enough. That makes a lot. And now she's pissed off because I declare war on her. Oh, fuck off. I might disable the mega war system. It's so broken. <laughs> it's so broken. It does make the game like quite a lot as well. That might be something I remove for next time. Unreal. A harsh measure, I must say. How terrible that I would disinherit this random lowborn woman. All right, Casper, you're next on my list. For the time being, though, let's let's try and get some of this. Uh, get get some of this old. Oh, I've got an insight plot against her, and everybody and their mothers have joined it. Apparently, does anyone else want to join? Um, I don't really want to spend any money on it. It'll, it'll happen when it happens. It's two hundred percent already. Right, worship the ancestors. You've decided to visit the shrine in the Holy Grove to make sacrifice in honor of your ancestors, hoping for their aid in return. Will you ask of my forefathers? Share your wisdom with me. Uh, something tells me that this is the right option. Now, I've added to this one. A small chance of gaining some old gods related stuff. So, fingers crossed. And it's a good event anyway, because apparently I, I had no idea about this. You can apparently get genius and shrewd from this event, which is pretty cr pretty crazy. Um, of the ancestors with one of our body parts, this gives you the highest chance of getting one of the better success rates. But to be honest, I mean, our guy's so good. 369 personal combat. And then we're going to cut his eye out. I'm going to just offer up this random woman instead. The offering struggled violently when the priest and the disciples pushed it down on the offering stone. The ancestors would surely be pleased with such a vigorous servant. No, you can do is wait and hope. Uh, we have to wait 200 days. So the best part of the year there to see if we get a bonus from it. To see if we get hope. Oh, no. <laughs> be honest. Wasn't it? Oh, my God. They actually did form the Kingdom of the Reach. Wow. Uh, Reach one invasion of the Reach. Oh, shit. King Veron, is that... Wait, who are they at war with? King King Veron of the... Oh, God, yeah, look at this. King Veron of the Reach, an ironborn man. He's declared... The Kingdom of the Reach? What the fuck? I don't know. Don't worry about it. Let's just, uh, this, this campaign's gone weird. Let's not worry about that. Now, it would also be a waste not to go on Warrior Pilgrimage as soon as possible, because this will just upgrade our... Oh, leads from the rear. Oh, that's garbage. Um, But th these will be upgraded. One of one of our traits will be the Flat Terrain Expert or Leads from the Rear. I think I would prefer Flat Terrain Expert to be upgraded to a better version of it. So we'll give this a go and hopefully that will just make us an even more effective leader. I mean, we're already doing pretty goddamn well for ourselves. Let's also go visit the Barber Surge and get ourselves healed up as well. I'd like to remove Slothful, but given that we still don't have a good heir, um, given that we've got Prince Land here, the sickly, ugly idiot, then I'm not really interested in playing as him as our next character. Um, maybe we go for Seduction. I have no idea what we can do to try and buff up our... To, to buff up... I mean... Seduce her? Why can't we seduce her? Not a former lover. Oh, right. They were lovers once, but then broke up. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Um, 
When we can't marry anyone else, we can't take concubines, I would assume. No? Oh, fuck. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's try and have five children, then. That might give an invisible fertility bonus or something like that. The roads can be full of dangers, but nothing is more dangerous than being ill-prepared. Try to find a merchant and buy the first edible thing you see. Lose 25 gold. And there's also a chance for scanning hungry. Hunt big game. 33% uh, chance of getting... Oh, but there's a, there's a very small chance of getting brawny there. So 33% chance we lose some health. 30... 33% chance we lose some health. We've got a 67% chance of either, and obviously a highest chance there, of becoming severely injured. I could run the maths on it. Can't be bothered. Um, uh, I don't know. Fasting is part of my training. There's a chance of becoming brawny, but there's also a chance we'll probably just die. Fuck it. Let's roll the dice. Oh, of course. We'll just... Damn it. Okay, barber surgeon. Hello, please. Uh, help me. Does that remove... Oh my god, it doesn't remove severely injured. I guess we just might have broken a leg or something. Not much they can do about that. Um, shit. Well, I guess we'll guess we'll wait and see if we die now. <laughs> nice. There we go. So this is one of the base game ones I was talking about before. I've been contemplating the tales of my ancestors. I'm more than a little impressed by the wit. And now I've picked up a thing or two from my studies. They are a great source of inspiration. Gain. Shrewd. Very nice. Um, still gonna die. Oh, or don't gain. We already had fucking... We already had shrewd. <laughs> I'm so... I give up. Give up. Get, this campaign is going to inform me. While roaming the Lone Road, he come face to face with a fairly old man. He announced himself as Vireso, Swordmaster, with 36 personal combat. Yeah, some Swordmaster. The trained fighter. Teach me. 4% chance of dying. I'm ready for anything. 24% chance of dying. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, um... So we got a button that can kill us, a button that can kill us. Uh, lose 200 gold, or I have no need of your counsel. Um... I mean, there's also a chance of getting Brawny out of this one. Oh, God, he's too greedy. He's too greedy. He's going to... No, I can't. Yeah, I can. No, I don't know if I can, though. Came Brawny. Let me become the greatest warrior in the whole world. We're not already Brawny, are we? No, we're not. Shit. We just got Jamie Lannistered. There is only a stump where, you, where your hand used to be. And now, you're one-handed. Damn it. What was the point of this warrior pilgrimage again? This is... This is... This is so punishing. My poor man, man, you're. It's gone from being the greatest fighter in the world to being the one-handed maimed man. Oh, good. Oh, good. Just add some more. Add some more uh, fuel on the fire there. Fantastic. Now we're going to fight ourselves some fucking handles. It's getting close to the middle of the night, and you were preparing to sleep under the stars for what's with this half-rotten shack you found. It somehow it feels strange. You no longer hear any of the nocturnal racket of the wildlife, and the moon is now hidden under a heavy veil of clouds. Do burn it down. Um, there is... What's the best outcome here? 22% chance of gaining zealous. That's quite nice. 22% chance of losing trusting. That's also nice. Okay, do it. Burn it down. And nothing happened. Finally, finally we're home after a harrowing adventure and we gained... Uh, so we lose flat terrain expert, we gain cartographer. That's quite nice. So what does that do for us? Cartographer gives us 10% uh, movement speed. Oh, that's very good. Come out in planes plus 20% farmland steps. Okay, that's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Was it worth losing a handover? No. No, it was not. We are going to become the best one-handed swords master 19,000 handles. Oh, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Narbut. Narbut Gorland. <laughs> Sounds like one of my Rimworld characters. Narbut Gorland. That's incredible. Okay. Um, shit. Okay, that's frustrating. Let's, let's do it. Hey, we're fine. We're fine. We're now grievously scarred, which makes us cooler. Uh, Traction opinion plus five. Personal combat skill plus five. Wait, we're back up to 311 personal combat, despite the fact we had a hand lopped off. I guess it wasn't our... I, I guess it wasn't our dominant hand, you'd have to assume. Done. Thank you, Mr. Animal. Goodbye. Okay, you are, you are Narbut Gorland. Oh, he looks like a Narbut. He does look like a Narbut. Well then, team. Okay, st stand down, everyone. Stand down. Okay, so what I want to do then is carry on with the Invasion of the Veil as well. Because um, we should be almost out of... Wait, we're still at truce with him. Oh my god, five more years? Okay, then. Never mind. Why are you independent? What do you... Why are you independent? Sure, whatever. Your quest is granted. What? But he's not a war, though. And we weren't... Oh, unless he was refusing to help us fight the Andals, I guess. Yeah? There we go. Okay, that makes some sense. Good God. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why that would be the case. I, I think I might have to turn off the Mega Wars before next episode because it is um, causing more issues than I think it's worth. And also, it does add a lot of lag to things. Why don't we have any priests available? What are you talking about? Okay, employ a new courtier. This is so ridiculous. Um, employ, a new, employ a new courtier. Invite a lovely priest. By the name of Brian. Please don't tell me it's bugged and we can't have a priest as well or something like that. There we go. Okay. Brian, you're really not that good, but you need to get to work. So I think nobody is our religion right now. 
Nowhere converted. I suppose it is all still Faith of the Seven, isn't it? So our next goal then, Castamere. Uh, this is quite a significant one because it's obviously quite quite a large duchy level title. Take that one. Take Ashmark. Then we've got, I mean, basically half the Westlands there. Can't believe the Kingdom of the Reach is formed, though. The Andal Reach. That might be a difficult one to crack. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you. I really was not expecting that to form into one. Unless it never... Unless it never broke apart and they were just constantly at war. What, for 141 years? I'm not so sure about that one. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. We'll have to we'll have to see if we can find a way to break it apart again. Force vassalize. The only issue is now everyone and their mother is also going to dive in on us. What's this one? What? Wait, wait. What? When did she declare war? I mean, it doesn't matter because she's only got 5,000 men. But what the fuck, game? You could have at least told me about that. All right, let's go for it then. The Lords of Castamere, let's take them out and see what we can do. Crag, understandably, doesn't want to join us, and then everyone and their mothers are also piling on. Yeah, what a shocker. In case you're wondering, by... Oh, yes, it did, it did crash again. Haha, <laughs> thanks for asking. Okay, so at least at least we didn't lose too much, thank God, because we've got this uh, monthly auto save going. Let's dive in. Let's, let's give it a go. That might be necessary. Are we going to win this one? Um, what? Where are our commanders? What? Wait, if you raise personal levies, it moves the commanders around? Nah, that's good. No, I'm just going. Maybe I just forgot to put them on there. That's fine. Okay. Uh, marry as you please. That was a good first battle. I'm okay with that, seeing as it was incredibly risky. I mean, we did lose a, a ridiculous advantage there, but never mind. Um, I am nothing. Again, these wars, we just have to get rid of them done quickly. So, unfortunately, I haven't got time to be sitting around planning all of our guys out. We've got to, or, or moving around meticulously, picking up armies, baiting them over river crossings, anything like that. We've just got to go for it. We've just got to take whatever advantage is being thrown at us because otherwise every Andal, like I said, is going to be after us. So let's go for the capital then. Let's go for the capital. Maybe maybe, maybe able to take him prisoner. Maybe some of his family. Where's he leading troops? Oh, 13,000 down there. That's good. Okay. Um, go for his capital first because there's only 3,000 defenders. Siege that. Give us some ticking war score. Oh, shit. That actually went for us then. I still don't think we've got any commanders on there, have we? Come on. Get out of here. Okay. That's fine. Right. Stop, 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 stop. Put us on the center for God's sake. There we go. It's probably because we've got so many different troops coming in. I, I, God knows what's going on with it, but there we go. Okay, so now we can get everyone together, assault this one down as quickly as possible, hunt down his troops, get this war done. Because we've also got to worry about that war with the Reach that I don't think will go anywhere. They might have a load of gold and they might somehow hire some troops. Not that the AI ever does that. I'm going to assault that one down, even though it's a little risky. Oh, she apparently has won. Apparently she's won instantly. Ha what? what? Who, who are you? Oh, she's not even our vassal. She just called us in. Oh, that's all right then. I don't give a shit about that. It's no wonder we weren't told about it. I was gonna say, I think, I think the, uh, I think, I think the Reach going to war with us would, we would have been informed about that. But never mind. Okay, there's his capital down, fifty percent. Let's go for his troops now. Seeing as they, oh, we can just catch them. That's nice. Okay, take these guys out next. That should give us a decent amount of war score. We're gonna fight another Septon, as we are known for doing. Uh, one must take his all I'll get. Quickly avoid his forceful attacks, and I have a feeling he's probably not dead. Minus nine versus three hundred and sixteen, and he lives to tell the tale. No, get get out of here. I almost got him. What do you mean no clear victor? No clear victor. 100 minus 179 versus 316. No clear victor. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that, but that's all right. Fine. You know what? Whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll allow it. Okay, get these get these guys together. Let's keep assaulting things down as soon as possible. They're mercenaries. I mean, they're not all mercenaries anymore, but I'm, I'm more than happy to throw them away because we can afford to just hire more troops if we really do need it. Right, this guy wants to buy my... Sorry, a fellow from the Berserkers named Marlin is looking to buy your High Valyrian. My what? Looking to buy my High Valyrian? Oh, the bow? Oh, he wants to buy the bow. Um, sure. How much is he offering? 180. No. <laughs> I'd rather just have it in the treasury. It's just cooler to have it around, isn't it? Like a, the bow of a fallen Valyrian lord seems a bit cooler to have around rather than just another 180 gold onto our stockpile of cash. <gasps> what is this? No, what the fuck? The first men have found themselves lo losing war after war, and kingdom after kingdom to the Andal invaders. The battles of wars have been endless, but the first men kingdoms have fallen. As with the Velma, some have submitted to the Andals, even taken up the faith of the seven. In many cases, the Andals have taken the wives and daughters of the defeated kings to wife as a means of solidifying their right to rule. For despite everything, the first men are far more numerous than the Andals and simply cannot be forced to side. The fact that many self run castles have godswoods with carved weirwoods at their hearts is said to thank the Andals. Uh, to be thanks to the Andal kings who have shifted from conquest to consolidation, thus avoiding any conflict based on differing faiths. What does that mean? What does that mean? The Andals came late to the Reach. The fleets of Old Town and the Arbor barred them from the Redwine Straits and the Sunset Sea. Reports of the bounty of the Reach and the wealth and the power of Highgun and its kingdom undoubtedly reached the areas of many of Andal warlord. 
Are you trying to say that we've lost? Because I, I think I beg to differ here, my friend. What, because that is that because they took the reach, maybe? I don't know what that implies. I don't know what that implies is going to happen. Okay. Keep a keep an eye on the religious side of things, because that seems to imply that we were going to have some religious unrest, weirdly enough. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just focus on the war. Just, it's, not, it's just politics. We don't need to worry about politics. It's not like we're ruling the kingdom or anything. Seems to be losing war score very, very quickly here. Oh my god. We've got the Iron Islands and the Veil. Vale. How does this make any sense? They don't... Why would they give a shit about this one man? Why would they be willing to put so many damn troops to this cause? And the thing that I wanted to happen also hasn't happened. So never mind. It's okay. Wait, can we... Uh... No, it hasn't happened. Shit, you... So it's to do with the whole ancestors thing. It's a long story. Don't worry about it. Father, father. Calls land. Pulling on my arm. Pleading to play with him in his latest toy. No, you ugly shit. Get away with me. Not, not now, child. Uh, can we... Can we get rid of him? Plot to kidnap. Kidnap our son and kill him off so we can play as someone else. We don't have another son, though. Um, I can't believe... I mean, what's... Oh, it's the leading troops because minus 20% fertility, doesn't it? Maybe we shouldn't lead troops until we've got some more heirs because this is not going well. God damn, we've got Ironborn at the God's Fort. Oh, no. Is this the start? Is this how... Oh, my God. It is how Sora, isn't it? Yeah, that leads the Iron Islands. This is how Harrenhal is founded. Damn it. Um, oh, and they want money to pay for their vassal upkeep? This is garbage. This is so, this is so garbage. It's got so much more, such a massive intercontinental war over a duchy. Over a single duchy. Just fuck off. Hey, you leave that alone. You get out of there. My wife is Pogonant. Thank you. Okay. K kill them. Kill them all. Get out of my... Why have we still lost so much? Oh, because of all the shit they've sieged. Oh, my God. Okay. Um... No, I'm still first man. That's the whole point of the series. Get out of here with that. Why don't they have the option to convert to first man, huh? Right, so these guys are dead. I don't think that'll give us any war score because they're just random ironborn raiders. But there we go. Well, actually gave us 15%. We're still limited, I assume. Have we not got enough battle war score? Oh, there is still battle war score left to get. Is that enough to finish the war? No, it's not. We're still 10% short even if we do max out on that. Elod. Elod, minus 12. Oh, this will be a draw. This will be a draw right here. You watch. I'm stronger than this injury. Strike. I thought we were dead. <laughs> okay, Valor McGullis. Thank you very much. Okay. For finally, not a draw. Songs will be sung of this day when we defeated Iron King Titus Hoare. Okay, right now let's counter siege. Then we get back to, back to the no, 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 no. It, the shortcut to, to siege is also the shortcut that hires boats, by the way, or raises boats. A little bit annoying. Ninety-four percent. Come on, come on, come on. And maybe if we counter siege everything, that'll be enough. We've crushed his armies. We've crushed his allies. This is it. We've, we've got it. We've just got to take back what's ours. Ninety-seven percent. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't let them take anything else. There, they're starting to counter siege. Run, 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 run. Marry you, please. Don't care about you. Thank you. Give them, give them more gold. More, the brand will be bankrupt in no time. You, there we go. Oh my god, we've done it. Thank you. What a ball ache of a war over the tiniest of duchies is not really, but that was a long, that was a lot of effort. That was a lot of effort. And we got very little to show for that. Now all we've got to do is that another 60 to 70 times. We'll have the whole of Westeros. No problem. That does look kind of cool, though. I do think we've, we've made quite a nice little bit of progress there. Unfortunately, um, a little bit being the operative word. Now to de-stress, let's go and kill some random old women. Hit 64-year-old woman. She ran. She ran. We tried We tried to kill her, but she ran. Um, who else we got? You'll do. Magor. Someone get him. What? You can't just run away every time. What? Are we not allowed to kill anymore on the bounty board? Oh, we are. Okay. I guess the other people are just allowed to run away for some reason. I don't know why everyone doesn't do that. I have some very special items. A man like you will surely be interested in them, says this creepy old man. I've heard about glass candles. I will need one. I don't think we can use one, but there is magic, so we might as well give it a go. Um, oh, we got a dragon bumbo. Oh, that's cool. I guess that's where we just defeated the, uh, the, 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 wait. It was the guy in the veil had the dragon bow. It must have been someone else, because obviously he's still got that. That's cool, though. Um, right, right, so, so, glass candle, right. That's what I wanted to double check. What, what were the conditions for having that, uh, usable? So, we just have to have 12 learning. Because we've got the trait mystic. I don't remember how the bloody hell we got trait mystic. We just need one more learning. So, if we were to flip over to the learning focus, because it gives learning plus three, and then flip back, we'd still be able to keep it equipped, because you get the plus three from the candle, right? We just need to cross that threshold. Okay, that could work. So next time, next kid that we have, I mean, our wife is final months. Okay, let's see if this kid comes out pretty good first. A daughter was born to the high priest Minor and Queen Min... Min, Min I, what is that? What is her name? I thought it was an I. That's Minolna. Oh, well, that explains a lot. Other rivers in the hills of the neck in the north named Meredith, who is... Oh, my God, she's unsightly and prodigy. Fuck off. Why would she become the prodigy? What's our succession law? Agnatic Cognatic. So if our first son were to die, we could play as her. Okay, this is fine then. Um, why don't we call her? Name her after the greatest warrior the house the house has ever seen. Silt. 
Name name her after Syl. Who are we kidnapping? Oh my god, we're actually kidnapping my son? Uh, no, not yet. This is too risky. Let's get everybody on board first. Oh, is that everyone? Oh no, evidently not. Um, can I have some more people though? Uh, let's get, let's get the cheap boys on board. Actually, to be fair, we've got the money to really speed it up. I think that's probably enough. That's probably overkill going for any more after that. 70% chance. Do it. Come on, get him. Fuck, we failed. Lance kidnappers were surprised with the ferocity of his struggle. He's a three-year-old boy. Okay, we can try again, then we won't caught at least. Now, the reason I'm doing this is so we can trick him in prison, and then you get the option to kill him quietly, and there's only a small chance we actually get caught with that one. If we are caught, it will be the biggest sin we could possibly do in the Game of Thrones world, so... We'll have that going for us, but at least we won't be playing as an ugly kid. We can we can play as the the, the unsightly prodigy kid instead. I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of on its last legs. Uh the series that is all specifically this playthrough. It's it's crashing so much. I'm probably gonna edit most of them out of the video. I'll leave some in just to sort of highlight what's going on with it. But I think it's crashed about five or six times just trying to play for I've been playing for in real life time uh just over an hour now to get this to get this this 30 minutes worth of footage or whatever. Um and I mean it's crashed four times or four four or five times we had a crash to desktop when i tried to legitimize a bastard we got randomly abdicated off once i mean it's it's so janky i'm gonna focus on bug fixing there might not be an episode tomorrow because I'm, i might take a day out just to try and fix everything i can i'm also probably gonna add a mechanic whereby they can only call in so so andals can only call in allies if they have an opinion of say 50 or something like that only, or maybe only calling friends or relatives or i don't know some some way to balance the system out because the fact they're calling everyone is it's obviously not unwinnable but i don't want to be doing that and i thought hopefully you guys can agree that me doing that however many times 70 more times or however many duchies are left inside westeros to be able to take every single province having to fight every single person at every single war will be a massive massive pain in the ass and i don't think it'll be fun for you guys to watch i don't think it'll be fun to play either so i'll add something that's thematic maybe I, i'll be honest I'll, I'll i'll unveil the curtain a little bit one of the events we could have got from the ancestors is becoming green seer then if we become a green seer we can do all sorts of fancy stuff like call in giants and wildlings to come and help us out as well if we control the fist of the first man it's something else i've added too so it, it, there's a lot there's a lot i've added but i don't think it's going to be enough in hindsight remembering now how ridiculous these animal mechanics are especially when the reach has just formed into a massive kingdom as well it, it's going to be quite so. Now, I might also remove the rest of, of, of Essos as well. To completely take out Valyria. I wanted to leave it in whilst they were in possession of the Mountain of the Veil. They're not anymore, and it's never been about Valyria. So, I might just pull it all out. I might, I might take it all out and then see if I can find a better end goal for the things. But, yeah, I'll, I'll try and work on that. If you guys want to help out, if you want to have any sort of experience with this, feel free to head over to Discord. And hopefully, we can work together on keeping the series alive. Because right now, it is dying so so much each episode in the meantime though thank you all for your patience in the series and thank you all for watching hope you guys are enjoying it regardless uh it's it's gone it's gone weird it's gone very weird like the the, the, the actual game has gone weird on us so i'll try and do the best i can to fix that in the meantime a big thank you to alchemia anthony gawley asuna kurato at moses average gamer 419 baking kitten ben hofflin chesty croesus donald doolin of gondolin facunda vasquez frederick gogolus harik Harry McGowan, Iguana Squad, James Shea, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kanan Carter, Michael Mullen, Muskratful, Nostros, Necrofen, and Pelvis Presley, Ronin, Scott, Skaz, Snake Mustaine, Somnus, Teabag Cruz, Shea, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Backers, Varagon, William Green, and Zazzy7011. Thank you guys for your support at the Insane Tier levels on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible. I will try and keep this series alive for you guys, but I, I don't know what I can promise here. I mean, it, I mean, it's not really a problem if it crashes five or six or seven times an episode. It just means that it will take me twice as long. I, I just worry about it being really disjointed, especially if I'm reloading back to auto saves and things like that. I just think it will be really confusing to watch more than anything else but hey we'll, we'll see how it goes thank you as well too oh i've updated the patreon list by the way because there were a lot of new people over the past couple of days so thank you everybody for continuing pledging and thank you to the new guys as well including uwu daddy asro and a person andrew walsh andrew wilson anchor attila austin taylor beth plus max better valerian black double h blood for the blood god buen gun chris corgi circus david van diepen daniel p don don honey two and seven emerald beam foosh gabriel van Ders, gaz genji Zerka, gothamo gray Haji Dumar, I am Sagater, I see the Great, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Crust, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, Jobs the Lucky Sister, Jilly Vondel, Joseph Beer, Justin Plock, Justin Rules, Justin Walters, Luan and Thomas, Luke Wallace, Manuel Bosic, Mastolp, Monty, Mosey Sampson, my name isn't Dio, Nathan Flores, Nathaniel Lundberg, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligar, Billionaire, Brian Hooper, Sam Kears, Shardul, Shari, Smirtworm, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, Sweet Sea, Talar, The One Ring, Voodoo Mumbo, Void Prince Kibo, 
Will Wade, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yellow Four, Yorkus, Zach, Zetlock, and Zico 2. Thank you guys all for your support. I will try and get this fixed, I promise.